Hi everyone and welcome to my video on how to eat a rose apple and this is a rose apple. Let me um, get it... okay. My camera keeps like focusing and unfocusing. Um, so, and, and the, uh, the rose apple uh, um, this is the rose apple you get in Thailand. There's actually a lot of rose apples. It's um, it's a really interesting fruit. It doesn't really taste like any other fruit. It's kind of a lighter, um, less sweet kind of fruit, but still um, kind of um, kind of sweet. But you wouldn't um, use this for um, like like if you had juice out of this, then it would um, it would taste. Um, kind of, I guess, like coconut water, but like less sweet coconut water. And the um, the, uh, the taste of it, um, someone said it's between, a, or like the texture of it, or the water content is somewhere between an apple and a watermelon. Um, so so I guess it's kind of like a unsweet watermelon. So the, um, the question about how to eat a rose apple is basically the same way that you eat a, an apple. So you just eat it like an apple and take a bite out of it. And um, it's it's a little bit um, well well and I I just ate the like stem part so I think this part's a little bit more sweet and this part's a little bit um, less and and um, oh and and I think that this is where it um, attaches to the tree oh and these are grown in trees so so there's a tree and then each tree each tree's branch has a whole bunch of of um, like, like like a cluster of these that you pick all together. And then this one is the one that is most commonly found in Thailand. And like I said, I haven't ever seen any any rose apple except for this rose apple in Thailand. But this rose apple, oh, and here's the uneaten version just for reference. Um, this rose apple that's grown in Thailand is originally from Malaysia. And the, uh, there, there are a few native Thai rose apple varieties, but they're really small and not um, like big and, and um, kind of giant like like this. Um, but, um, but, um, but yeah. Oh, and then the other thing is, sometimes in the middle of these we'll have a uh, big giant seed. But I've I've probably eaten like twenty rose apples just like an apple, and I've only ever um, gotten one um, seed. And this and the seed isn't very um, tasty. I've um, tried it and it's not all that good. But but the seeds like right in the middle right here. If if they have one, and usually uh, usually the rose apple would be a lot bigger. Um, I'm guessing I'm guessing neither of these have a um, seed because the ones with the seeds have a bigger top part to them. And you can, um, I, I like this because you can eat the whole thing and I eat the whole thing except for in the rare case where there's a seed. And um, so, um, some people say the middle part doesn't taste, uh, um, doesn't taste as good as the outside part, but I haven't noticed that maybe just because I take really big bites of the rose apple. So if you're a tiny biter, then you may um, have a better idea of how the taste differentiates from the inside to the outside. But for me, it's all just really delicious and, um, like I said, like a, a light, interesting taste.
Oh, and I, I didn't um, really need this. Um, it, it's not a really drippy fruit, but um, it is dripping like a little bit here. So it's it's not like an orange where it gets like all over you. And the um, the liquid from and and it's not like sticky like as sticky as watermelon juice. So it's kind of nice just to eat and not get your hands too sticky. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a crunchy, um, a crunchy watermelon is kind of what it um, tastes like. So I know you said, I, I know I said you're supposed to eat these like an apple, but I think they're small enough. And actually, I um, the other one was the smaller one, I think. Um, but I think they're small enough that you can like stuff the whole thing in your mouth and just eat it like that. So let me try that. And I think I overestimated my mouth capacity, or I underestimated how big this rose apple was because, like you saw, I wasn't very, I didn't su very successfully stuff the whole thing in my mouth. But um, it it is um, it is interesting and delicious. Oh, and um, it has a lot of uh, like like it kind of tastes a lot more like a flower than most fruits do. So maybe that's part of why they call it a rose apple. Uh, maybe someone was eating a whole bunch of roses. And actually, I, I, I don't, I think I've eaten a few rose petals or like one rose once, but I don't know if anyone's really that, like eats that many roses that they could um, say with that much confidence that this actually tastes like a rose. Oh, and um, let me see. I think I think that these were, um, as far as pricing in Thailand, I think they were about 60 baht for a kilo, which is about $2. And um, I think a kilo of these was about six or seven or eight of them. So um, anyway, I'm not sure what the math works out on, on these, maybe like 20 cents each. 40 cents each, some, um, something, somewhere in there. And then in Thailand, they have these fruit vendors and the fruit vendors have a stall on the side of the road, like right by the 7-Eleven. And then you walk by and you can buy a bag of cut up fruit. So the fruit vendors will basically quarter, quarter these, cut them, in, um, cut them in half twice, and put maybe like two rose apples worth of 
fruit in a little bit little bag, and I think they I think they sell for thirty baht or forty baht if you buy them like pre-cut up in the bag, and that's um, that's really cool because well especially with some other fruits like mangoes that are really uh, well for me almost impossible to cut up then then it's really really. Um, cool, cool that they do this. With the rose apples, there's not really much difference from eating them like an apple versus eating them um, cut up in sections. So I really like fruits like this where you can just eat the whole thing and you, um, there's there's no waste or no um, no nothing left over. Mostly because my mom taught me don't don't waste things, especially food. And I think that's like a kind of cool concept. But then um, like my little brother Ramsey says, how many insects had to die to make your vegetarian rose apple? Um, or or that, that's not an exact quote, but he says something like that. So anyway, it's kind of an ethical dilemma, but I, uh, but I really like eating the whole fruit, and that's one of the reasons I like this rose apple because I can just eat it up, and um, and and I guess my hands a little sticky. I I don't like sticky hands, so I'm going to wash my hands right after this video. But um, but anyway, yeah. So thank you very much for watching my video on how to eat a rose apple, or I guess I ate um, two rose apples, so thanks very much.